Oh, hi. <clears throat> All right. Let's get some messages out to the world here because we have. Ooh, I feel. As soon as I got on this live, my stomach just started going crazy. It was like, just feel a lot of like energy right now. Um, so we were, uh, okay. We were driving and <clears throat> we were driving, me and my team, <laughs> me and my spirit team were driving. And all of a sudden, like I kept hearing something about um, a breakthrough is how I'm hearing it. So um, <laughs> a breakthrough. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this is why I love spirit. I literally stopped in front of AutoZone. I was like, let me go in and get some seat covers for my car. Because, like, you know, um, when you don't have, like, when you... Anyway, seat covers. And I, I'm i like, breakthrough, a breakthrough. Bitch, why did I look up and what does it say? It says rewards and bonus reward. Right there. Like, right in front of me. And, you know, I don't even pay attention. And it says the number five. I mean... Just let me just show you. I mean, I know it's stupid because you might be like, oh, okay, it's AutoZone. Of course, they have the sign up. But Flo, it's AutoZone. Yeah, but rewards and number the number five and then bonus rewards as I'm saying a breakthrough. This is why you got to see life differently. When you have the perspective like, like this, you're going to see everything is going to light up for you. I'm in my car right now, too, sitting so I don't get a ticket. Let me explain something to you about being in the car. First of all, you could tell a real piece of shit from a good person by if they let you go or not like these motherfuckers over here got nowhere to go they're going home to their wife not sucking their dick <laughs> to, to dinner not cooked and meanwhile there's some of us who could actually go get our dick sucked and we're not rushing to get home these motherfuckers rush to a red light <laughs> bitch you got it you made the red light congratulations yo fuck like the fuck out of here i can't stand people like that i just be letting everybody go go ahead Go ahead, go ahead and look. I'm seeing the number 22 right there, the number one, number five, and the number 10 is fucking popping up to me, okay? Yeah, and I'm telling you, there's something, it's a breakthrough, and I'm gonna tell you how I was hearing this. Because my guys, like, they have watched me really grow, especially, like, I was like, okay, um, when you're, like, obviously waking up to spiritual gifts and stuff, you could get real paranoid in the beginning, right? It's like a paranoia type of thing where... You literally, because especially because I have a lot of Scorpio on my chart, Scorpio on my rising, Pluto on my rising, excuse me, and I see everything and I just be like, boop, 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 like everything. I, I like a radar detector. I'm just like, I could see what the guy in the black sweater is doing right there, walking right there, and he, you know, and I see it. And then when you first start waking up to this, you start to you you start to get paranoid. Like you start hearing everything, seeing see, seeing everything, especially during this time. There is a about a paranoia that could go through your skin be careful with that please be careful with that that is one of the messages because i'm gonna tell you something that's why my guy said i saw you grow because i went from like a person who like all right let's say i used to watch a channel or a or a, or a, a youtube and the bitch kept talking about <clears throat> john jacob jinger hammer smith he's doing this she's doing that there's a lot going on in the spirit world so when you watch a channel if they're focused on everything the spirit world is saying to them you're going to get a whole lot of misinformation from a whole lot of spirits. He, spirits are, are humans like you. Imagine they had the chance, the opportunity to talk to people and just say whatever they want. <coughs> Some of them, <coughs> and I'm seeing it says proven tough right there. Some of them will say good things. Some of them will just say whatever the fuck they want to say. So you got to be real careful who you're listening to and what time you're taking with some people. Because some of these readers and channelers out here... I'm going to say it, but first. They are bored, bitch. They motherfucking bored. They ain't got shit else to do but be online and tell you some bullshit and listen to what Spirit got to say. But guess what? I was like that too. And then I told, I told Spirit, back the fuck up. I'm fucking busy. Don't bother me. I'm hanging out with my friends. I'm doing this. Yo, let me tell you something. You need to have clear boundaries with humans and with spirit it's the same fuck it's like the same world same world the only difference is the spirit and the human nika knows she knows when i was at our house that night i was like we need to tell them to shut up we're enjoying ourselves right now because we were hearing <laughs> we heard it <laughs> we heard it me and her and everybody was like i don't hear nothing me and her were like i hear that shit <laughs> like you can't Ooh, geek -a -boo -a -boo. we heard that shit seeing shit hearing shit we heard it but bitch, we trying to enjoy ourselves right now. And that's the point. This is what my point. My, why do I always have the filter on? Am I ugly? Oh, 
Oh, my chest right there when I said that. My chest, you guys. When I just said that, my chest started hurting. Let me tell you something. Spirit was like, bitch, you did a good job. You're doing a good job. And I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Whatever I'm talking about, I'm talking to you. Okay, collective? Okay, you guys? I am telling you, whatever you're doing to change your attitude about something, it is working. It is working. You stop being paranoid. You stop reading into what everybody else is doing. You stop looking around going, what's John doing? What's Jason doing? What's Jimber doing? What's Docker doing? What's Bookbiter doing? What are they doing? Let them do what they do, baby. Because I'm going to tell you something. Okay, for instance, for me, and I know this is weird, but I play the Amy Lee station. That's what I rock. All day in my car. Amy Lee Station on Pandora. That's what I listen to. That's what I rock out to. I'm in my car. I'm about to drive three hours tomorrow. And that's what I'm going to be listening to the whole way there. And Spirit be trying to talk to me through those songs. And let me tell you, they be saying shit. And sometimes when it's like mad depressing, like, oh, I miss you. Click next, motherfucker. You better stop all that sad shit. Ain't nobody got time for that. You know what I'm saying? We 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 got to we got to learn to understand something. We are dealing with past lifetimes here, man. With past lifetimes, past lovers. And being that you're so fucking phenomenal, you got past lovers still in love with you. But hey, honey. This is not the past. Let me make that real fucking clear to you. Because I don't think you understand how vital it is for you to understand that this motherfucker's from your past lives that is still on your dick. Do you understand me? Women and men. You may wake up in the middle of the night and go, I swear to God, I think I just got fucked by something. Some Nobody was there, but something fucked me. Or tried to fuck me. Yeah, that's your ex-lover. Your ex-lover. Like, watch the show The Ghost Whisperer. I don't know. Watch anything and you'll see. Love, they'll, the spirit will find you and be like, I want that. And they think they're going to get you. Mm, not, no. And they might, not going to happen. I wrote something yesterday. That I'm gonna have to read it to you. Last night, spirit ha like was tapping my forehead so hard and my ear so hard, my right ear. When I was writing this out, somebody was pinching my left ear like, "You bitch, don't you dare say this." And they was saying something about, "I keep all prying eyes away from me. Any pedophiliac energy, any negative entities, any watching me in the shower entities, any watching, I I blind them. Like I was blinding spirit's eyes. They can't see." Me or anybody I love anymore. I know, and I swear to God, I added all you motherfuckers into that prayer. The collective too. Whoever watches and fucks with me, we're all protected. They're, I, the spirits that try to watch all, us, watch us, not watch over us. There's a difference. I blind their motherfucking eyes. That's it. I'm blinding it. Fire, set fire to their eyes with no pain at all. It's just whenever they try to look our way or our children's way or our future children's way, they get blocked. I ain't got time for none of this shit. Because you think it's a game out here. I know it's not a game. I know it's not a fucking game. And guess what? I don't let it bother me no more, though. That's the thing, though. Even though I know it's it's happening, I'm not going to let it bother me. Because guess what? I got a life to live, dude. I got a life to live. You got a life to live. When you start fucking paying attention. Right now, we are in the hour season era. It's about you. You understand me? <clears throat> It's about you. I got Capricorn in my North Node. So if you want to know anything about Capricorn, I'm going to tell you right now. Capricorn is learning. Because I'm going to tell you, we got two different types of Caps. We got Selfish Cap. I don't give a fuck about nobody. Fuck you. Fuck your mother. Fuck your bitch. But then we got Caps who are like, I just want them to be okay. Are they okay? Are they all right? And if you're the, I want them to be okay Cap, Spirit's sending you over to the, I don't give a fuck Cap, you know? And we could look at Capricorn. I know some Capricorn women. I'm like, selfish, greedy bitch. But sometimes I'm like, Maybe she knows, maybe she found a secret to life. Because sometimes in this world, like, you got to be a little bit like, it's all about me and fuck you. But I'm going to tell you something right now. What we're not going to do is continue to look back at past lives and past lovers and exes and this and that and yesterdays and the day before that. No. Love and light to all that has been. And I shed light to all that were, that will be. Look at that. Spirit just gave you something. Love and light to all that has been. And I shed light upon all that will be. Because what's what will be is what is supposed to be. What is happening right in this moment is what is supposed to happen. What has already passed and, and passed already in the past has to be there. This is your message. You have to start today. Now. Not tomorrow. Not next week. Now. This is the time. You're going to say, you know what, Flo? I'm with you on that. 
fuck that. I'm trying to live for me, bro. Like, I'm trying to do me. I'm trying to live for me. Make a wish, make a wish, make a wish. Because what you've been doing this whole time... You know, it's like survivor's guilt, survivor's remorse. Same thing with money remorse. You hear me? Like, oh, you made that money? Oh, you, you, you're you okay and they're not? And now you feel bad for them because they're not okay and you're okay? Oh, no, I have many children in, in many dimensions. Many children, many dimensions. I see them all the time. I see they come to me. They ask in my dreams all the time. And look, lately I've been telling spirit enough with the... I get it. I, I'm already aware of all the astral dimensions. Unless you're sending me, the, me there to help other people to do something I need to do that I'm capable of doing, fine. But if you keep sending me to places for no reason, draining my energy field, I'm not going to do it no more. I don't care. Love and light. But I don't, how are you going to come see me in my dreams? This goes to family, friends, whatever. And you're doing weirdo shit in that shit. You're doing weirdo shit in the dream. It's not me. I'm not a weirdo. I don't be doing weirdo shit. I don't go to people's fucking houses and, and touch them in places they don't want to be touched and, and fucking force drugs upon them. Bitch, if I'm going to do drugs, I'll be like, I'm going to do these, but you're not getting none because I don't want to influence you. Like, these motherfuckers be like, here, bitch. Like, you know, it's like, damn, motherfucker. All up in my fucking T-zone. Like, I'm tired. So you got to be tired. Right? And because Pluto is strong right now, the Scorpio season, Pluto Pluto brings up all the things that were buried in the ground underneath. Literally, Persep I don't know why I was saying Persephone. I don't know why. But it's like, this is the fucking time. Whoa. You need to be deaf to the bullshit. Like, literally. Look at this. Like, I can't. Because I was about to say, you need to ignore it. And look what I just read. Blue deaf. You need to be blue deaf. Blue deaf on this motherfucker. Not high deaf, but blue deaf. Like Archangel Michael blue deaf, which is the light of blue, right? Archangel Michael represents the blue light. Uh, Raf uh, Raphael is green light. You know, Uriel is uh, like pinks and fluorescence colors because, you know, he's about transformation and change and beauty, right? And then you got uh, uh, the other guy, um, not the other guy, the guy that, that runs the Mercury, which is mine, which is uh, Gabriel, who is the messenger to all. Now think about that. If you're ruled by Mercury... Gabriel, the messenger who gave all the messages to the people from directly from God to all the Bibles and all the things, you're a messenger. I just gave you your purpose. What's my purpose? Or if you're ruled by Mercury, you have a lot of Mercury in your chart, and Mercury is big on your thing, Virgo, Gemini, those are ruled by Mercury, you're a, you're a messenger. You're a messenger. You came here to give messages directly from God to source to the to whoever. You're all my Mary and Jesuses. I'm here telling you what God's telling you. You know what I'm saying? Just think of it that way. So I'm going to tell you guys something. This this is what I'm coming 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 to say. Um, I am hearing something about a vehicle here. Are they going to buy a car or something? But I do see... Um, I definitely heard moving out. I'm getting hot. All of a sudden, I started getting hot. And um, it's like a, trans, a change in your... Somebody's hiring you. You're getting hired... <clears throat> if you filled something out, you're getting hired. I'm hearing a new career. Something about like um, you have like a library of information coming to you. It's it's gonna be like you're gonna be over, you're gonna be uploaded with information. This is how I'm getting this. Okay, there's a lot of things coming up like uploaded with information. Uh, yeah. Okay. Don't be stressed about it. You know, you can, it's stressful now, but I learned one thing about uh, gratitude and being grateful for stuff. And, uh, you know, I remember living in one house and complaining about this, complaining about that. And then I had to move to another house temporarily. And I remember going, damn, bro, I should have been grateful for that one. At least there I had like my own bathroom or whatever the case was. And you got to be grateful for where you are and where, <clears throat> what you have now because you don't know, like you might not. You know what I'm saying? So I've learned, okay, I'm grateful for all this. Even if it's the shittiest situation, I've had to force myself to remain in gratitude and it's not easy. It's not easy to, to remain in gratitude when you know you don't belong there. Your spirit don't belong there. You know you don't belong there. Passed my drug te test for one got job and got an interview for another job today. Yay! We like passing drug tests, right? Um, <clears throat> okay. So I'm going to leave you with this because I got to go get ready. When I go to people's houses, I'm like, I'm going shopping. I'm buying everybody a gift. That's what I'm doing right now. Got to get 
five people a gift like little things you know just like a little here that's for you you know i like i like doing that i like to show up with like a little something this, this, you know it's not even it doesn't even have to be like it would be five dollar gift like people like to open a gift right so you could open up like a, a pen and be like this pen is so pretty for me i don't know about selfish people but for me if you came to my house with a pen in a box i'll be like oh, this pen is so beautiful i'll use it forever that's just how i am i'm grateful for the little things in life which is why spirit continuously blesses me with the little gifts and then the big ones as well but the little ones they know that how how happy i get when i when i receive gifts from anybody or from anything i need to tell you my dream last night um trying to understand the meaning yeah did you see that orb did any did you guys just see that orb who saw that look at that light look at that light right there that's so weird because it's like giving off wow look at that archangel light right there are you kidding me it's a rainbow right here i'm blue no no no, no, see, oh my God, look, look. I don't care, I know you're like, it's the camera full. It doesn't matter, it's a blue light. I was just talking about Archangel Michael. Wow, thank you. For the first time in a long time, somebody complimented me on my skin today. I was like, thank you, because, <laughs> you know, I've been working really hard on my skin, you know? Um, okay, so I'm going to tell you guys this, right? Please do yourselves a favor today. What we're going to do today I'm not endorsing vapes, but let me tell you something. This is called Clear, and I got to tell you. I found a vape I like because I can't with these cigarettes no more. I can't do it. The smell, the everything. I just can't. And I roll my own cigarettes. Like, I roll my own cigarettes. So, like, I'll end up with, like, I only bring, bring like, three cigarettes out a day. And, I like, I don't want to smoke them no more. So, I had to just find the perfect vape. And this clear one is, like, so light. And so, I, I'm just saying, if you're going to, you know what I'm saying, get a vape. This one is my favorite. It's called Clear, and I love it. Okay? And it's rechargeable. But anyway, again, I'm not endorsing nothing. But, you know, some people are like, they, they don't want to smoke cigarettes. This is, I think, a better option for me because I take a few pulls. I leave it for a couple of hours, and I go take another pull. It's better than cigarettes, right? Okay. So, I'm going to send you guys lots of love and light. I'm going to tell you right now. Get on your... Oh, okay. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Oh, I wanted to say that. Thank you. Um, you need to start getting on your... um. Okay, okay, thank you. Spirit wants you to know something before you go. Before you go, you are powerful. Like, you can write words and speak them, and then they become real. Do you see what I'm saying to you? So, like, last night, like I said, I wrote. Um, with this pen that I write, I bring it to life with all my might, or something like that I wrote. And then I said, I keep all prying eyes away from sight. Like, I kept writing, like... You know, like, a, it's, you could call it a spell. I just, it's words. Words that, that to me, will bring good things. You're able to do that. Write little th things on a notepad or something. Like, I mean, even hearing, like, if your child is scared at night or something. I'm, I don't know. This is particular for someone here. Yeah. This is a particular message for someone. If your child is, like, showing fears at night or something like that, just write them a little, like, message, like a spell type of thing, and tell them, say this at night, and nothing will bother you. You understand? You understand? <clears throat> you get it okay i was freezing sorry do you see anything okay guys so i'm gonna send you guys love and light and i'm gonna tell you guys right now <clears throat> you're powerful with your writing with your words you're you're very good at um clearing people's energy and doing like reiki on others so that you could cleanse their space and their energy uh when you show up to people's house i'm hearing this right now yeah i'm gonna go when i go home i'll, I'll take the paper and pen and i'll i'll post it and then you guys can use that. You can use that. Because um, there's nothing. It doesn't take the power away if I share. That's what I do. I'm here for the collective. So whatever I am blessed with, I always tell spirit, please bless the collective with the same wonderful ideas, opportunities, and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> I was going to say something. Oh, when you show up to people's houses, you're able to, like, clear negative entities from their homes. And I'm going to tell you, you got to be careful with that. That's why, I'm, listen, I'm telling you that for a reason. First of all, so you can know how pow how powerful you are. It's like that you're able to um, cleanse negative entities from people's homes. Okay, I need you to know that. You need to know that. But also be careful because when you are going to some people's houses, some of them have real negative, like, real negative energies on them you understand me so they spirit wants you to know to be very careful whoa look what it says right there bro you know what i can't like you got to be real careful and look what i just read do you see that shit greedy greedy yo 
this is what I'm talking to you about. This is what I mean. This is the signs. You got to pay attention to the signs. I was just saying, you got to be careful with some people. And then I turn around and it says, greedy, greedy. Like, you know, these things happen by accident. It's not like it happens and, and I'm, I planned it. You know, this is spirit talking, talking. So pay attention. Hi. Can I make an appointment coming up? Yeah. Thank you. Hello. Hold on, guys. How are you guys doing? Okay, um, not until next, on Sunday or Monday next week. Next week. Oh, you know what? I'm going to make it when I come back because I'm going to New Jersey. I don't know when I'll be back. I'll, I'll, I'll make it when I come back. All right, so, um, you know, make sure that you pay attention to um, when you go around people, how their energy is, what they make you feel like. Do they make you feel good? Do they make you feel nauseated, sick to your stomach? Um <laughs> thought I locked my keys in the door. I was like, no. Um, you know, how do they make you feel? And pay attention to that. And don't ignore your fucking intuition. Do you understand me? You understand me? My friend, you understand? Okay, good. I love you guys. You have a good ass day. You know what I'm saying? Keep your keep your wits about you. Pay attention to the signs. Number one, number two. Don't let people piss you off. Don't let greedy people piss you off. <laughs> Come into my arms, I'm hearing. Oh my God, you guys, I'm just hearing something. I'm hearing, come into my arms. Find that love that you 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 know you have within you. So the Spirit wants you to, to see and, and hear that loving energy. Like last night, I was, I was talking about positive things and then there was like this little voice. It's always like, always tries to do that. I'd be like positive things and great things are happening to me and this and that and then there's always that little voice that'd be like yo you're not gonna you, you think you're gonna make it you're not gonna get this you're i am i am and the fact that you're this is how i'm seeing my 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 my, my um i was about to say masturbation <laughs> i don't do that but my manifestation <laughs> this is how i see it <laughs> Wait, that's how you can tell I really don't have sex anymore because I don't have any masturbation. But, um, <laughs> you know what? Let me just get into it real quick because I'm going to talk about it. Give me a second. Let me talk about this because, you know what? This is fucking important, all right? Fucking last night, like, you know, I was, like, in my room, right? And then I was watching the show and these two couples, like, started fucking and shit on the show. And, like, you know, I was, like, ooh. I was, like, hmm, I can't, I can't wait to see what that's going to feel like the day I have sex with someone again, right? And I'm going like that. And then all of a sudden, my sacral chakra starts vibrating. I'm, like, Arr! fall back, motherfucker. Nobody invited you to the party. God damn, a bitch can't even have a thought about sex because these motherfuckers be like, she's her, she's horny, she's ready. Not for you, motherfucker. I need a human with, you know, flesh and bones. You can take your ghostly dick on out of here because no matter how much you try, how many of your boys you get with you, how many of you in the spirit world come together and be like, ready, set, go. It's not going to work, motherfucker. It's not going to don't try it and don't try it because I will fuck you up. Okay? I, no. I bought a vibrator. I will not touch it. You know why? Because it's those eyes. I just I always feel like somebody's watching me masturbating. I really can't do it. You know what I'm saying? I just can't. First of all, another reason why I'm going to tell you why I don't masturbate in my house, especially with like my child in the next room and you know, my dog next to me and stuff. It's because I just feel like, like somebody's watching me. Like I would literally have to rent the whole hotel room just to masturbate. Like, and even then I wouldn't feel safe because I always say like, somebody watching me like every day, you know what I'm saying? But like, this is why I had to put the spell on their blinded eyes. Like, do you think, do you think I'm... <laughs> I do got that crazy in me. And you know what's funny is people, like, they will think, like, oh, she's crazy, crazy. This bitch crazy. No, I'm not. I actually am so aware. It's scary. Like, that's why when you become this aware, you have to learn. Let me, this is a message for you. I'm telling you, that if anybody's going to tell you anything important in your life, this is it. No matter how much, how much you, you learn and how much you know and how much you can see listen to mama flow i'm telling you right now don't let them affect you bro because it affected me so bad 
that I almost lost my whole shit at one point. But now I have to understand this is natural. Shit happens. And that's why we have to put the spells on them and blind their eyes. Because yes, best believe that there are pedophilic spirit. There are dirty spirits. There are I want to rape you spirit. There's all kinds. But then there's also, and then you have to also pray to protect spirit who's with dark spirit. Let me put you on to this shit real quick. There are good spirits trapped with these dark spirits because they're too afraid to fight with them. So I'll, you know what I do? I go and I, I give speeches in my room. I'd be like, yeah, you could think I'm crazy. I don't care. I'd be like, I, let, I'm not even going to step out of the car and do the whole fucking show. But I get out in the middle of my room and I'll be like, all right, ready? Okay. How funky is your chicken? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, uh, Buffy the Vampire Slay. And I'll be like, listen, spirit. Here's what's going to happen. I know that some of you are being manipulated and controlled by darker spirits and you're afraid to stand up for, to them. And then I'll tell them, there's power in numbers. There's power in numbers. I can guarantee you it's like three of them and like 50 to 100 of you. If you all come together and hold hands and be fearless, you can defeat these guys. You just have to work together. You know, I said, you want to do a group meditation? I do group meditations with spirit. I'd be like, come on, we're going to send love and light. And all the dark entities are removed from this space. You have to do that, not just for you, not just for your family. You're also doing it from, for spirit. Everything that you heal in this life, in this reality, you're healing in other dimensions. You're healing for not just for you, but for others, for other people, for other spirits, for other children, for other animals. We are one. I, like, I know that's hard to concept, to grasp, to con the conceptual grasp of the concept that we we are one but we are all connected and we see number 88 right there you hear me when you bring abundance into your light you will naturally bring it to others because they will see you grow and be like i want to be like that and then you start acting like that okay all right guys so i love you and no, this is like I'm weird and stuff like that, but I'm going to tell you something. I can almost guarantee you there are plenty of people who feel just like I do, but they never had nobody say it, and they don't, they're afraid to say it. And you should be. You should be afraid to say it. You know why? Because the world is so bent up on, we're just humans. This is all there is. And then when you say shit like that, people may look at you like you're crazy. So I'm going to save you some heartache. Stop trying to get convince people to, to believe what you got to say. You talk to people who understand you, and that's that. Okay, talk to people who understand you. Stop trying to explain your spiritual knowledge to a person who, who it's like trying to, I'm going to say it again, trying to explain the color blue to a blind person. And I'm not saying that in a, oh, blind people can't see the color blue. I'm saying it. It's try, trying to explain your spiritual perspective to someone who's completely not in that world is like sitting down with a blind person and saying, all right, I'm going to explain the color blue to you. The, it, the color blue is uh this person's blind never seen nothing their whole it's like that you know like the 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 car that you i never saw a car it's like the tree you know what i never seen a tree do you understand me yeah so don't do yourself a favor save yourself a whole bunch of heartache a whole bunch stop trying to connect with people who don't connect with you who cares if they don't they don't understand me okay bye next <laughs> they don't understand you keep it moving all you can do is spread the word, say what you got to say, and try to open up somebody's eyes, ears, and heart. But if they don't want to, that's on them. We can't judge them either. We can't be like, they don't want to fucking be spiritual. They're stupid. No, they're not. They're just, they're probably new souls on this lifetime. You're an old soul. Two different vibrations. Okay? Can you tell me if I am he headed in the right direction, going with the flow concerning the guy I met recently? If you guys know me, what's my answer to that? What is my answer to that, you guys? Who knows me the best here? I'll give you a free five-minute reading if you say exactly what I would have said. She wants to know if she's going in the right direction. Go. Did you see that orb? Did you see that orb? Did you see it? She what? You saw it? I saw it. I see everything, bitch. I'm a, I always watch people. I'll be watching them. No, I'm just kidding. If you know me, <clears throat> what am I going to say to her? Go ahead. Let me know what I'm going to say to her. No, what would I exactly say? Yes. Okay. Okay. 
So Savara says, follow your conscience. The other one says, nope. And I'm going to tell you like this. It's the two together. It's the, I know you've seen it. If you feel that way, you already know. Thank you. <coughs> Kiana. Five minute reading. For, uh, and you're not the same Kiana that booked the reading, right? Because sometimes I don't be knowing. Let me tell you guys something. If you meet a guy and you feel in your heart that motherfucker ain't right. You saw that orb? Did you see that orb? Go ahead, orbs. Go ahead. Come through, baby. Come through. Come through, baby. You saw that orb? That was a clear orb right there. That's just a... With the number 88 right there. Abundance, baby. If you meet a guy or a girl and you feel something's up, then guess what? Something's up. It will come up later. You meet them. You'll be... Uh, you know, I feel like I, I like them, but something isn't like it doesn't feel right. And that's your that's your gut intuition talking to you. Talking to you. I'm not talking about the paranoid, like you should watch out. That's not your gut intuition. That's spirit negative energy. Just want to uh, talk all up, uh, all up in your ear, tell you what to do with your life. No, they don't own you. They don't control you. They don't run your life. This is your world. You're living in it, and they're just here visiting. So what you got to do is make sure that you set rules and boundaries and set your destination and go with that ride. Like, don't you? start getting nervous and take get and, and return the ticket back you see what i'm saying what's mirror what smear gets what smear gets do i smoke i smoke i make i roll them myself i buy the tobacco i'll show you when i get home i don't even get the ones she rolled them no offense love and light but i don't know what people do back there with their tobacco you know like it's like it's i'm gonna just say this i didn't at the time when i was like when i like doing coke and like oh all that you guys know i'm very candid about this it's for a reason because many people have said thank you for talking about it because when we don't talk about it it makes it a scary ew you did coke you crackhead no bitch it's no first of all i wasn't smoking crack so you know what I'm i did cocaine it's a different it's it's a rich man's drug so like when i was doing coke and shit like that i wasn't thinking about what are the drug dealers doing at the house how are they you know like Listen, I'm just going to tell you right now. If I was to ever do coke again, I'm going to make sure it comes from a person that I just know they're clean. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can tell, like, the way I used to buy coke from, like, sketchy motherfuckers. I don't know what they're doing in there. You get sick, something can happen to you. It's the same thing with people rolling your cigarettes and tobacco and all that. But I buy the... The, the, the tobacco smoke it's the menthol tobacco smoke it's made for pipes but it's also for cigarettes and i got the little cigarette uh roller it's easy you just one two like stick stick you stick it in you stick it out and then i push it in and i make my own cigarettes and they come out like this and they're great and they just have no additives and stuff it's just nicotine and tobacco and actually i smoke a lot less because they're not like newports where you like the taste more and you're just like going for a go and then it's not as addic addictive i could stay without these all day long and I'm fine. But if I was to do that with a Newport, bitch, I'll be Jones and me. You know what I'm saying? Like, like for real, some junky shit. So, yeah, because they add on all those extra chemicals. So, yeah, you're going to be fully addicted to them. Like, with these, they're different. You can actually smoke. Breather. Thank you. Um, you saw I said return sender and it cleared. I've never been a heavy smoker. You know, I'm like a light smoker. I'll take, I'll smoke maybe six to eight cigarettes a day. And I'm not even smoking the full cigarette. I rip it in half. Okay, just so you know. I rip the top off for some weird ass reason and I smoke a little bit. Okay? Yeah, so anyway, so let me send you guys love and light. I'm gonna tell you right now. Manhattan special. Yeah. Go from the Newports to what I got. Trust me, try it out. You it's a lot more minty and menthol-y, but I promise you that try it and then you'll see like you'll wanna quit because it's easier. We went to 99, 77, 100, and I'm telling you right now, this is a news of abundance of good things coming to you. And ho hopefully soon. If you guys are in the New York thing area, I am going to do like an event where we're all, don't worry, I got plans. I'm, I'm working with my guys on some big event thing where we could just like be free and be ourselves and, you know, let our titties out. I'm just kidding. But, you know, be free. You know, maybe not wear bras, but shirts. Yes, wear shirts, please. Because, you know, some people are mature. Oh my God, look at titties, titties. <laughs> like, you know. Anyway, I love you. Oh, I just got another message. I'm going to leave it at this. Some of you are being tested, but not in a bad way. It's like almost like they're testing you to see how how far you could take your spiritual growth on. Maybe you're going to be like tested to see if you can do a specific mission on this earth. So when you're being tested, don't, don't look at it as like spirit. The, God is punishing me. No, it's actually, they're actually testing to see how, how 
congratulations and happy birthday if you win. Uh, congratulations, let's put it out there that you won. And then you end up giving me 50,000. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I won 3 million. Here's 50 Gs. Thanks. Mm -hmm. okay. Anyway, so I'm going to send you guys love and light. And I'm going to tell you, if you are being tested... I swear to God, it feels like somebody's grabbing my, my hand here. If you are being tested for something, don't take it as an... Just chill out for a little bit. Cool down. Fucking relax. Because everything's going to be all right. Every little thing is going to be all right. Okay? Stay calm. Go outside. Get out of your room. You hear me? Fuck out of your room. Get out of that bed. Move it. One thing about me, I'm not lazy. And you would think I'd be the skinniest person on earth. I don't eat a lot. I'm constantly moving around. I'm like, blah, 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 blah. like you would think I'd be the skinniest person, but you know, I'm losing, I don't know. I'm losing weight though, and I'm proud of myself. All right, guys, I love you, and I will see you guys later. I'm seeing the color like fuchsia pink for some reason, like a, a very pink color. All right. Yes, I, I was singing that this morning. There you go. There's a fucking sign right there. I love that. Also, oh yeah, I want to tell you guys this. I can't because I have to finish the messages. Otherwise, I'll be driving and I'll be blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, I'm sorry. I forgot. I'll go back on. Okay. Um, so if you listen to music, like deep music, like Amy Lee, and I don't know if you like Amy Lee or like Flyleaf or anybody like that. I do love those. Damien Rice. I don't know if you like these kinds of uh, artists, you know, the very, uh, the blower's daughter, it's called. And if you listen to a station like that, like Damien Rice. Return to Sunday, thank you. Return to Sunday, thank you. Love and light. Okay. If you listen to these, Spirit will talk to you through these, through these songs, okay? So maybe you want to have like your mom or your brother or your cousins or your aunt communicate with you play something that's like meaningful music and see if they'll you know all right guys you know communicate with you through that and spirit will communicate like try to let you know what they've been trying to say to you like you know it could be something like you know love love makes you like the song love exists by amy lee play something like that and then can't yeah my love do you ever dream of Oh, okay, on a positive note, we've been waiting for you. All right, guys. I'm going to send you love and light. Remember, start your motherfucking day like the G that you are, bitch. Can't nobody take my pride. Can't nobody hold me down. Oh, no. I got to keep on moving. Okay? I love you motherfuckers, bro. I'm here. I, listen, I'm here for it. If anything I say to you helps you fucking run the world, girls i'm with you okay i love you guys i love you love you love you baby i love you baby you know that was baby and poppy i was gonna say this is, came out to baby i'm gonna write words that are new words because i i do that a lot i'll say like the word true and lost at the same time trust trust <laughs> love you got to keep on moving and another thing one one more thing one more thing because i love you guys if you're just randomly hanging out and all of a sudden you hear a part of a song, like, you know, I'll hear like, like I said, when it's a, just a dream spirit will be like, it was only just a dream. You know, that Nelly song, I was thinking about her, think about me, what, what was going to be is only just a dream. When I have like dreams and they mean nothing, spirit will sing that to me. It was only just a dream. And I'll be like, oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Or like, I'm, I'm driving and like, uh, like something will, a text message will come and I'll be like, uh, have a little faith in me, you know, something like that. It's like I'll hear those little quotes of the songs, that spirit communicating with you, okay? Because they like to do it, especially if you're a person who likes music. All right, guys, I love you. I will see you later, okay? i see you later. I love you. i talk to you later. And by the way, I'm going towards the ocean this week, so I'm, I'm going to be hopefully towards the nighttime channeling and literally be, ne be near Atlant Atlantis and Serpent Road. I'm not kidding. That's what it's named. I'm going to be close to that. And every time I go there, there's so much powerful channeling that happens, the messages that come through because Atlantean and Serpent Road is literally like Atlantis and serpents. Like, come on. Hello. Huh? Being near the water is so powerful. Okay. Like, it's so powerful. Okay. I love you guys. I'll see you later. And Atlantis Road, that's, that's like... I don't know. I think that might have been where Atlantis was, where I'm going, okay? All right, you guys. Good night. Good night. <laughs> good night. Okay, good night. Yeah, good night. Good night, okay? I talk to you later. Good night. <laughs> oh, man, just have some fun today, man. Take the stick out of our asses and let's enjoy, okay? I love you. Boppy, I love you. Boppy, see? Boy and poppy. Boppy. <laughs> Bye, guys. I love you. 
I love you guys. Be good, okay? Be calm. Don't let them fuck with your energy. We're leaving at 66. Not not 9988776. Do you see, uh, did you just see that whoever stood here till now? Bitch, there you go. There's your signs. 99, we had 100, then no, we had 111, then we had 99, then we had 88, then 77. Now we're leaving at 66. Take the stick, take the steak out your ass. <laughs> steak, I, love you. I love you, by the way. Um, uh, SZA, Frank C, I love you. I love your energy. I love your. Clear. I love your comments. I love you guys. I love reading your comments. I love reading your stories. It's my favorite. I can't wait to do the podcast and get you guys on my show. I love you. I guys see you later. Okay, I love you. Bye bye. bye. My daughter's calling me. Bye. Love. You.